Hello and welcome to another Pro Tipster video. I'm Pro Tipster Paddy and I'm here with Pro Tipster Dan and we're going to have a quick look at some of the results from during the week and a very quick look as well at some of the best games from this weekend's football action. Hello Dan. Hi there. How's it going? Apart from weird dreams about ketchup, yeah, great. <laughs> That's for behind the scenes videos, huh? Uh, you want to have a, uh, yeah, quick run through the results, Atten, that jumped out at you? Um, will anything stop Manchester City? Um, I don't know if you saw the game last night, but they ripped Swansea apart mm. 4-0. Um, cause they're, they're, they're gonna, they're, they're, Swansea have said they're gonna let uh, Clement <laughs> stay until the end of the window. They're, they're gonna give him money. Oh my word. Yeah. Although, to be fair, you can't blame him for losing to Man City. They're well, unstoppable. Yeah. Um, Dominic Solanke, did he have a goal robbed from him last night? Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, it was harsh to call that handball. Um, it didn't look like it was deliberate, but the ref said, you know, it's handball, yeah. chalked it off. Yeah, but this this is this is Liverpool, you know? They, uh, this is two matches now. They've really let themselves down. And it shows, for me, it shows that the team doesn't have any, has no character, has no balls, no cojones, or whatever you want to call it. They don't have any, they, <coughs> you know, bring back the likes of Joey Barton or something. Like some, someone, some kind of dirty terrier in that team who just wants to win. Okay, Gerard was like that. But he, but he, he, he couldn't always rally the troops. I think they need someone who's a, a proper leader. I don't think Henderson is, is, yeah. you know. And the other result that jumps out at me, I think Rafa is dead on walking maybe. Cause yeah, they lost New, to Newcastle lost again and Sam Allardyce? Yeah. Has, has, has worked his magic and ever to, I mean, he c- cancelled the Christmas bash, um, because he said results aren't good enough. I, I think they might get put back on soon, because, <laughs> you know, they're, 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 they're flying again, oh. and Rooney scored again. So yeah, um, I was really impressed, but I think Rafa's got a bit like, they've not won in so long. Mm. I don't see Rafa going. There was more about, about the sale yesterday, though. It looks like he might accept this, this 300 million. Still will take time to go through. Yeah. Oh, hard, isn't it? oh, I feel sorry for them. Like, they're gonna get, <coughs> they're gonna get screwed over here. They're not gonna have, not, it's not gonna be sold by the transfer window and yeah, they're not gonna be able to bolster the squad and they'll be in trouble. Uh, what else happened? Burnley won, of course, the other day. They, they kept their train going. Spurs won. Uh, Arsenal. My no. Sam. I'm sure Martin's there. I'm sure Martin's happy. Yeah. And a Leicester, dire match. I was watching that one. Was Leicester, dire. Drake came on four. I mean, Riyad Mahrez again mm-hmm. had a cracker of a game. Leicester back in good form. Yeah. I think that Leicester game is the first time that two Japanese players have scored against each other in the Premier League. <gasps> That's a possible stat for you, right there. I'm, I'm, I'm ninety nine percent sure. I can't find any others. Uh, Maya, Maya Yoshida scored for Southampton, and Shinji Akutsaki got two for Leicester. Yeah, I was trying. I saw something yesterday. There was something about uh, African players uh, who have scored the most. Uh, Ivory Coast is third ranked. I was trying to think who would be who's number two. And the question was who's number two, number one, number one. Nigeria must be number one because Nigeria have had plenty of players in the Premier League. But who who'd be number Cameroon two? might be. But Premier League said who's been from Cameroon? Oh Ghana. Oh, Ghana, yeah. Tony Aboa, he scored a lot of goals, like, didn't he? So he could be skewing. Anyway, look, um, that's the results for during the week. There's a couple of matches down I want to have a look at, uh, for this weekend. Um, first from Friday night, we have Sheffield Wednesday taking on Wolves up in, uh, up in Hillsborough. Now, mm-hmm. um, Wolves, I know you're not the biggest fan of Wolves, but, you know, that gravy train is still sailing. Um, it is, yeah. Nice mix of metaphors there. And Sheffield Wednesday boss Carver, Carver's uh, Carlos Carvajal, uh, Carlos Carvajal is in, uh, a lot of pressure. Um, Sheffield went 7 1 in 5, drawn mm. 4, lost 1. They're 15th in the table, they, 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 you know, their owners feel they should be like top 6 and they're not. Obviously Carvajal going, um, really. I mean, he's, he's not, he's been there quite a while. Um, he goes through stages where he has like, a he, he uh, he doesn't get on with his, some of his players and, and I can't see Wolves not winning it mm. Wolves are still comfortably the best team in the championship comfortably mm. let me give you the odds the, 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 the odds are quite funny I think uh, 350 for uh, Sheffield Wednesday to win 3.35 for the draw and 2.11 for Wolves that's I'd great that's, I think that's brilliant for Wolves I'd, I'd take it uh, there is something about the Asian handicaps and I know uh, you, you've talked, you've explained a lot about handicaps to me, but I'm going to have to ask you on this one. 
The handicap is the, the the bookies must have them very even because the handicap is plus point two five for Chevy Wednesday at two point oh two, minus point two five at one point eight two for Wolves. I think what that what's the bookies that? are expecting the draw here. Uh, they're expecting a very very narrow uh, Wolves win. Mm. If they're expecting a draw, I think it's close to a half. Uh, they're expecting a very narrow win. They don't want to. They don't want to put. The, they don't want to say that Wolves will definitely win. Yeah, it's just a narrow one. Which which I don't understand that personally. I take Wolves. I take Wolves. Why? Why would they do it then? Like Wolves are Wolves from great great form. They're playing well. They're scoring lots because of goals. Sheffield Wednesday haven't lost in five at home. I had a draws, yeah, yeah sorry. They've, they've yeah, drawn yeah, yeah, yeah. and won at home. They've yeah. not lost at home. It's just that I mean they've only lost one in five games, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they keep drawing. Mm. And I don't think that's gonna be good enough against this Wolves attack. But we'll see. Yeah, it's a bit of a Wednesday. I think a lot of people have a soft spot for a Wednesday, because that great team of Chris Waddle uh back off when we were kids, but yeah, they don't they're not really going anywhere, are they? No, no, they they they've they've been very poor this season. Mm. Uh, the next one then, uh, Chelsea and Southampton. So, uh, Chelsea won, uh, last night. They beat, uh, Huddersfield. Southampton lost to Leicester in, I was, I was actually surprised that they lost so badly. It was 3 0 at half time, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, you get, you gotta wonder what Southampton board were, were thinking. Just like that. Sat Claw Puel, and yeah. there he is in the opposition dugout, waving <laughs> merrily at them, 3 0 up at half time. <laughs> um, yeah, I was surprised by Chelsea's so I didn't think they'd beat Huddersfield. By three goals mm. nil, um, three one, three one. Sorry, Morata being out. Uh, I don't know if he's back in this weekend. They've still got a few injuries to contend with, but they they rotated. Uh, they brought in Batchway off the bench. Ethan Ampadu got another run defence. So you know, may, may, maybe um, it's it's going to be a tough one for Southampton because they 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 kept getting caught against. Uh, they got caught two or three times by Leicester. I don't know if you saw. Riyad Mahrez's goal, the first one. But is it against the Lord's tackle Riyad Mahrez? <laughs> like he, um, he picks up the ball just inside the Southampton half, ran for a little bit, passed it, received it back, fell over, stood up again, turned round, took on two more Southampton players and smashed it in the corner. <laughs> so hold on a minute. Can you not tackle him? Yeah. And I think, you know, if you play like that against Chelsea, you will get ripped apart. Yeah. So. And deservedly so. It's it's funny though that I, I, I would like think it's funny. Conte is playing these mind games. I think with his team, he's saying that we can't win the Premier League. We may look at the champion, Champions League, and I, I, I look. I, I yeah, City are going to win it, but I don't think it's all going to be all plain sailing. Like it wouldn't be the first time a team has has has, has fallen from a perch like that and, and been caught up with. I of of the rest of them though. <laughs> Would you t- well? I I think Chelsea are the best of the rest. Would, would you agree, or do you think it's Spurs? Uh, I don't think it's Spurs. Um, it's Chelsea or Man U are the best of the rest, and I don't think they'll catch Man City. I really, I, I'm wondering if Man City are going to lose this season. I think they might might well go in the sports. Ah, you think? Um, they keep playing the way they are playing. Yeah. Can't see a reason why not. Um. The thing is, is that, you know, it's not just, a, it's one thing to hammer the small teams, but they've, they've, they've been grinding out wins when they need to, yeah, they've been yeah. beating the big teams. You know, it, it, 15 straight wins on a bounce is unreal. Mm. Absolutely unreal. Here, before we move on to the City match then, I'll just run through the odds for Chelsea. So 1.37 to win, 4.97 for the draw, and 8.92 for Southampton to win, which isn't going to happen. The handicap though, uh, minus one and a half goals, 2.08. Or Southampton plus one and a half, one point seven eight. I take. I, I, I've been burned by Chelsea on the handicap. I take Chelsea to win by two. Mm. No I just. I, I really. I'd really love to see Morata coming back to himself though and get his getting his scoring boots back on. Um, the last match then I want to talk about first place Man City taking on Spurs game of the weekend. Um, there's decent enough odds on City. One point five three. You'd expect them to be lower at home. Four point five one for the draw. Five point eight seven. For Spurs to win. I'll, t- I'll take Man City to beat Spurs. I mean, Spurs did well in the week. Uh, got a good uh, win over Brighton. Um, although, did you see Aurier's goal, the first goal? No, I didn't see it. Didn't mean it. Um, it's quite funny actually, because uh, in our Combined 11 podcast, uh, um, first of all, we said that uh, me and Martin said that uh, Lloris was way better than Edison. Edison made a couple of cracking saves for Man City. And we were talking about right back, and we were talking about Trippier versus mm. Walker, and we said, Aurier, nah. And then last night he um 
he scored from basically the touchline. Nice. But he didn't mean it. It was oh. just a cross that kind of yeah. looped in. The keeper's going, whoop, whoop, whoop. Right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, and then, yes, um, Son got the other one. Um, typical Spurs performance, really. You know, they, they could have done much better. Brighton. They look better now, though, with Son in the team. No. Yeah, I, I think, I think they've needed him. You can be, I think, I think while it was unfair to say that, you know, they were over reliant on Harry Kane, I think it does help to have another player like yeah. that. He brings an extra bit of un- unpredictability to it, you know? Yeah. Um, but the la- uh, both teams are lacking a little bit in defence. Like, uh, Mangala was okay last night. Um, Zinchenko actually came off as I thought he would. Mm. Um, which, you know, is, is evidence of Guardiola thinking ahead and thinking I need to rotate players in. Uh, Vertonghen did play last night, just playing with four yellow cards, <laughs> but he got through it okay as far as I know. I don't believe he got booked. Um, and they partnered him with Eric Dyer. Very nice. Yeah. God, I can't imagine Eric Dyer's looking forward to Saturday. <laughs> no, I can't either. <laughs> um, do you think the, the handicap's been set at minus 1.25, that's at 2.15 for City and at 1.74 for Spurs. Do you think they'll cover it? I'm not sure. Um, it's, yeah. Above evens. Yeah, above evens. Maybe, maybe, mm, it's maybe. Tempting, isn't it? I, I, I'd want to know a little bit more about lineups before I totally mm. uh, go with that. Um, because I, I, I think the, the question is, is, is defensively Spurs, you know, who they, who they go with, and also, um, about who they go up front with, with, uh, with Man City. I, I saw some Man City fans being critical of Leroy Sana, you know? Yeah. They're saying he's lazy. What? They're saying that um, off the ball he doesn't do enough, and they wanted to see. And well, you know who they want to see given a, a run last night was Brahim Diaz, because there was like only once. one. There's only one. Yeah. And I kind of got that, but no, uh, Pep's. Although he did rotate the side a little bit, he's not going to rotate it that far. Mm. You know, he hasn't won the title yet. Right. We better finish up then. Um, make sure and check us, check out protips.com where you can earn real money by sharing your winning football tips and subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. You get daily tips videos, previews, podcasts and strategy videos too. We'll be back later on today with an audio podcast with myself, protips are Dan, Martin and Johnny too. Alright, we'll speak to you then. Good luck. <laughs>